A little early, aren't you? Oh, I don't mind. All my querents are eager to know their fates. I take it as a testament to my skill. Yet, I must say, I am excited to see you. I feel as if not a day has gone by without your fate on my mind. Long are the days without you, my dearest querent. Without a doubt, you and I will be well acquainted. From stars to the moon. It was only a matter of time before they brought you back to me. I apologize. Most psychics leave behind the age-old tradition of vague premonitions and puzzled speech. I, however, am loyal to ceremony and a slave to my desires. Once I get my hooks in something, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. <laughs> I wouldn't worry. I can still talk with a lick of sense. But you didn't come for that. So let's get down to it, shall we? So, you asked me to keep it general. A simple reading. But, as fate would have it, I'm feeling generous. It's not every day I get customers that look like you. I'd hate to scare off such a face. So, I'll be performing a Celtic cross. A ten-card spread involving your participation. I understand you seem to be going through a rough patch. A certain run of bad luck as of late. Please consider what might be affecting you, and do your best to formulate a question. <laughs> Take your time. I could watch you all day. Tell me when you have the question in mind, dear. Good. We may begin. Be good and shuffle the deck. And cut it when you're ready. Make sure you feel familiar with the cards. Mm, how enticing. It's been so long since I've had the pleasure of your fortune. True, it's our first meet. But each card you chose describes you perfectly. Sin and sinner still true with you. To begin the past, Nine of Swords, late in the journey, overwhelmed and underprepared. At times you feel clear and ready, yet blind and bound to your urges. It is surrounded by disappointment and feeling as if you're restrained by those around you, including yourself. She was no good for you. I am. The present, the hermit, a major arcana. One representing the need to withdraw into yourself. A path of loneliness. Few are those you trust, and even fewer smiles. Cold and alone, you need the comfort of control. A guiding hand to light your way. Intuition called you to me. I will bury that intuition. Oh my, you are naturally blessed, I see. <clears throat> if 
future, Queen of Cups, a loving but dark woman approaches unseen. She adopts passion as her medium in the expression of love, obsession, possession, and certainly domination await you. Most could see this as a negative, yet keep an open mind, whoever she is. I know she has much to offer you. The challenge. Always conflict. Forever it shakes. Three swords. A simple yet hurtful card. And a heart impaled on tree swords. It is a pain like no other. From those you cherish most comes the deepest of pains. Trust in yourself and others shattered on hopes of affection. Whoever hurt you, I hope my voice can provide some solace. I trust things are going to get better. In fact, things will improve. You can count on it. Continuing, we reach the conscious. It seems to be your thoughts gather around two of wands. A card of duality. One wand a man leans on planning and excited about his future. Yet the other wand is shackled to stone, confined to a wall. A typical sign of feeling stuck. Yet we hope for better. The subconscious. Ah, I see the great friends and family. To be specific, the ones you lack. Three of Cups is that of friendship and the joys of relationships. Perhaps you feel a need to be understood by those around you, evading judgment from those you admire. I feel as if things have changed. Do you not trust me? Is there something you're holding back on me? Bad things tend to happen when trust is broken. Wouldn't you agree? As we pass into our seventh card, we reach advice. This card embodies burden, depicting a man holding ten wands, struggling to get a hold of them. He carries all his responsibilities, but is slowly being crushed. The advice is simple. One cannot carry all of life's luggage. You need someone. Desperate for a helping hand. Or simply, someone to rest your head on. Someone you'd never leave, or rather, could leave. We arrive at the biggest influence, the Hanged Man. A crossroads of confusion, leaving no direction you feel lost at times. In truth, you know the way, but not the destination. You will find success in passion, but first... Seek new angles. A fresh perspective is the foundation of clarity. Sometimes the hardest problems, the most oppressive of challenges, present solutions right in front of you. 
we soon reach our peak, your hopes and fears. Ten of swords, tragic as the fear of failure. A man lays impaled with ten swords, all from those he calls friends. The fear that all you try and do is looked upon as nothing. To be abandoned and thrown away with little regard. Friends and lovers all shun you. It warns of betrayal, but also that good things are still to come. Perseverance and beauty are just on the horizon. Soon, a singular choice will present itself. A return to form. Nah, at last. We come to our final card. The lovers. Adam and Eve, overwatched by an angel. A card of good omens. A deep love is sure to be in your future. Yet, it represents a choice. A simple yes or no. It is a matter of love. Will you accept her for all her faults? Or shun her and turn away the love you need? Hate her for peering into your destiny and altering it beyond imagination. Is that truly something you would hold against her? Or would you accept the love and passion she has for you? At the core of her heart, she hopes you answer wisely. For the lovers are also seen in the towers falling from great height, seemingly pushed by shadowed women, they fall terribly far. So, what is your answer, my dearest querent? Hmm, I admire tenacity, yet it seems something still plagues you. Your fate is sealed on the lips of obsession and absolute authority. The dark woman follows, and so only misfortune leads the way. <laughs> but don't worry. It's nothing we haven't dealt with before. I have just the solution. But you have to act quickly. I have a feeling whatever you're going through is only going to get worse. I have everything you need, but it comes at a cost. I can bless you. Turn your misfortune to fame. Turn night into day if you wish. Yet it requires daily blessing, enjoyment at my side, to guarantee your safety. This reading has revealed much. I see how isolated you are, how much you need a soft touch. The only way for your life to get better is me. I am the only one who has what you desire. To feel like you can take the world by the horns. With me by your side again, I can control your fate. Make every little annoyance fall away. If you decide, however that my services aren't worth it. I foresee a very dark future. 
A fall that leaves you crippled and broken. Everlasting love shackled to the wall. A gentle push and a harsh fall. So, my dearest, you have a choice. Will you accept my service or shun me away?